All right, so for today's video, I'm getting ready to replace the fuel filter on this 2007 Crown Vic, but this should be the same for 03 to 2011. This is the model that I'm installing. It was about the same price as the Motocraft one, and it was able to get to me in a day instead of two days, so I just went with the K&N. Real no science behind that, but some of the tools you'll need is a drain bucket or drain pan for the fuel that's going to ostensibly come out of the lines. Also, you need a ratchet in the appropriate socket, which I believe is 5 16ths for the clamp. A couple screwdrivers, a line removal tool. You may get lucky and you won't need one of these. You can get these at Harbor Freight for like five bucks. They're cheap. Uh, this one actually I think is for, yeah, AC and fuel lines, and it's the small one is what you're gonna need. We'll get to that when we do. A couple gloves, a rag, and uh, obviously jack stands or ramps. I've got the entire rear of the car on ramps, but I've also got it chalked up front. Transmissions, of course, in park, and the parking brake is set. Another thing I need to do is replace both of these struts. So I've got a board, so I've got a stick here holding it up. But what you're gonna need to do, I'm gonna start the car, and then we're gonna pull out this fuse, this 20 amp fuse right. So it is fuse number four, and make it a little easier. It's obviously, it's this one right here. So I'm gonna start the car, and we're gonna pull that thing out. And what that's gonna do is kill the electric to the fuel pump, and it'll allow it to uh, basically use whatever fuel is left in the lines and then the pressure is going to drop and it's going to make it a lot easier to deal with pulling that filter and not making a huge mess. All right, so let's start the car. Let it die. Got a little gas. There it is. So, should be no more fuel. Electric's off. So, I'm just going to leave this right here so I don't forget to put it back in. Let's get started. So here's the fuel filter. Pretty easy to get to. But got my pan right here. This is a 5 16ths. We're just gonna undo this clamp. Don't need to remove it all the way. You'll see on this side, those two little white tabs, which are right there and there. You just have to push those back just a hair. You don't have to remove that clip all the way, I believe. I think you can just kind of move those away. Slid out all the way. And that comes off just like that. There's that. Okay. Go ahead and tighten this back down so we can get a little bit of leverage. There we go. I think that was it. Yep. So I'm just going to drain it. Uh 
undo clamp again. the new one and we're just going to slide the old one out there we go it's like I fuel everywhere And the lip goes exactly like that. So this holds it from the back and these hold it from the front. So let's get line back on and that click signifies that it was locked in place come on okay there's that now just to lock the back piece Actually underneath the car I can see that we are on all the way forward throw that back in not coming out so double check your front we're good so I'll meet you guys in the cabin fuse is good it's not blown can't really see it all that well and we'll just stab it back in Uh, all right so for this point what we're gonna do we're gonna cycle the fuel pump a few times and I can hear the fuel pump in the trunk when I do this I don't know if the camera can And before we start it, we'll get back out and check for leaks. Everything looks good. No leaks at all. Do one more cycle. There we go. Check one more time for leaks. Everything looks good. A little bit of drippage from the exhaust, but that's normal. So now just to get it off the ramps, pretty easy video, pretty easy job. If you guys enjoyed it, stay tuned for more.